welcome back, everybody. Um, oh, got my... Finally actually see my skin now. Uh, it was actually made by a friend of mine. Um, I had that commissioned uh, after I found out... Uh, shortly after I found out what happened to Technoblade. Um, so it was sort of like a memorial skin. Uh, yeah. I, I really like that skin. I have a couple other versions that my friend made. Uh, but this one is by far my favorite. Because, you know, while it is, you know, a memorial skin, it's also, like, there's something about it that's just, I don't know, it's got, like, kind of a me vibe to it, you know? So it's not just a Technoblade thing. It's like it's its own thing as well, you know? I, I don't know. Uh, what are we doing today? Right. Uh, so, you could probably tell from the first couple videos I ever did on this channel, but I love creepypasta. Love it. Like, seriously. Uh, so I had an idea. What I wanted to do was set up some firewatch towers. I don't know if I said it in the last episode, but I was thinking about it recently because I heard a creepypasta about firewatch towers. And seeing as this entire area is just a massive forest, it might be a good idea to have waypoints. Maybe. Is that a good spot? I don't know. Dude, shut up and stay in your house. No, uh, okay. Would I die if I fell from this height? That is a question that I am asking myself. I don't think I would. I think, I think I've got enough armor to last, and I don't know if it's an entirely deadly height. Ow. Okay, so it's like directly up, right? Yeah. Now, I don't want to repeat that twice, but, uh... Ow. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I think it's right here.
very afraid of falling off. Because I still, I'm pretty sure I still haven't died yet in this series. And I don't want to jinx it. Okay. So now that we've got our our little our little thing, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I should put some supports, and I'll put the support beams like right here. Let's see if I, yeah. <sighs> yes. No. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could snag them both. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that's about as tall as I want this one to be. Maybe a little taller. Yeah, why not? Sorry, I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. I'm really good at that. I was uh, I was at a Beans and Brews earlier today, and I was uh, getting a, a video uh, edited, edited and like scheduled. Uh, it was one of these actually. And this guy walks up to me, and he's like, "Oh hey, I don't I don't know this guy by the way. I don't know who this guy is. Never seen the guy before in my life." Dude goes. What kind of what kind of laptop you have? And I don't know if you know this. People talking to people makes me very nervous. I don't like talking to random people, especially when they just, you know, show up. They just walk up, start talking to me out of nowhere. Like I could see him walking up, to me, and I hated every second of it. Cause I'm like, I don't know you, dude. 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 Get away. And he did not. Uh, so I was kind of on edge for like the rest of the time, and I was like, I don't, I don't want to be here. I'm not having a good time. I just want to edit my stupid video and go home. Um, it was, it was an awful time. For me. Poor guy just wanted to know what kind of uh, laptop I was using, which I mean, he's he doesn't know. All right, he doesn't know, uh, you know what I'm dealing with he doesn't know about you know, he, he obviously didn't know that I have social anxiety I can't fault the guy for that because how is he supposed to know you know uh, so I'm I'm not ragging on the guy for that you know it's it's not his fault he didn't know that I have social anxiety uh, it's not as bad as you know somebody I know who literally can't even leave their own house uh, you know, it's, mine's not that bad, but I don't like when people come up to me and just start talking. Uh, it's, it's really, you know, anxiety inducing for me. And the guy was, I don't, I don't think he, you know, realized that I was trying not to have a panic attack, which, I mean, it, it's fine. He doesn't know. You know, like I said, I'm not faulting the guy for any of this. He had no idea. Because how could he have known? How could he have known? I'm sure it was a little weird that he walked up to somebody randomly and was like, oh, hey, what kind of laptop is that? It's weird, but, like, it's not sketchy. It's not threatening. You know, he meant no harm. So I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. I was just sent into a panic because I'm like, why are you talking to me? Uh, you know, some people get that. My girlfriend understood that when I was telling her about it. It's like, I've got to take a hydroxyzine. <laughs> I need anti-anxiety medication. So I went home and I took anti-anxiety medication, which is lovely. 
Um, I love my anti-anxiety medication. Uh, I really spent like five minutes talking about it. A situation that made me anxious. Uh, I don't know. I feel I feel bad because like I I was really taken aback and I was kind of freaking out. So I was like, "Who are you? Why are you talking to me? I don't like it." Uh, but I didn't say anything to him. He was just kind of looking at me like, "Are you gonna answer the question?" He didn't say anything to me, but he was just kind of waiting for an answer, and I felt kind of bad. <laughs> Cause I'm like, <laughs> like, oh, he has no idea. I'm freaking out right now. Uh, so I just, I just told him, I was like, oh, it's, it's an MSI. And he's like, how much was it? I have no idea. Uh, a friend gave it to me. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then he walked away. And I was like, is that it? Did, did he kind of catch the vibes that I was like not having a good time like I don't know like I, I want to say I didn't feel threatened by him it's just very hard for me to talk to people in public um, like I, I didn't even ask my girlfriend out she asked me um, so I'm I'm very thankful that uh you know our r relationship is like this hallmark type thing where it's like they both love each other you know uh or like they both have a crush on each other and they don't know it or something like that um it, it was that type of thing um I, th I think i kind of made it obvious to her that i liked it i don't know i don't know I don't know if I should be telling this story. It's not bad, but it's just like... I don't, I don't know if she's comfortable with it. Uh, look, the point is... Uh, I I was too afraid to like go up and talk to her. Uh, bo both times. Uh, she and I lost contact for like five years because neither of us had phones in high school. Um... It wasn't like a long time ago. We just like, didn't have phones. Uh, just wasn't a thing that we had. Um, and you know, it didn't really bother us. Where I gotta grab some spruce. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Um, I'm just rambling right now. I, I gotta keep people's attention somehow. Just running around like an idiot in Minecraft. Uh, but I, when I was in high school, uh, like the first time I wanted to ask her out, I was really nervous. It was like the day before, uh, I feel like I've mentioned this, but I, if I haven't, I'll mention it anyway. I think I mentioned it in the Pokemon thing. Uh, but I, I, she and I were already friends and I really, really liked her. And I was like, okay. It's it's Friday, it's the weekend, it's the day before Valentine's Day. If ever there were a time for me to tell her that I liked her, now would be the time. So I I made her a little gift bag, um, and I wrote her a little card, I told her how I felt about her, and I, you know, kind of just asked her out in the card. And she had a gift bag for me too that day. Um, but... She was a lot better about, uh, you know, giving gifts than I was because I didn't just hand it to her because I got nervous um, and I panicked. So I just put it in her backpack. She had no idea. I put it in, like, the worst pocket of her of her uh, backpack. It was, like, in a pocket that she, like, doesn't have anything in. It's, like, one of those little tiny pockets. It's, like, in the back of your backpack. So she had no idea. Uh, so I opened up my my little gift. You know, she's very talented. She's very uh, she's very good at uh, making things. Uh, like my favorite Pokemon is Mew, and she made me a little Mew out of the uh, out of those melting beads. 
And I was just like, oh my god, I love this girl. Like she knows me so well. She's super sweet. I I love her. Um, and I was like, I don't, I don't know if my little gift can stack up. I'm not really that uh, crafty. I don't, I don't know how to make this. Um, I was like, I hope, I hope she likes, you know, her her gift. She didn't even know that I got her a gift. That. <laughs> She had no idea. <laughs> um, but you know, she also had a card for me, uh, saying that she really liked me and that she would, you know, she, her words were, "I, I would totes date you if you're chill with it." And I was like, "Dude, no way! Like, no freaking way!" Um, and she was like, "Oh, did you, did you get my, uh?" Did you get my note? And I was like, yeah, did you get mine? She's like, you gave me a note? And I was like, yeah, I gave you a whole little bag. And she's like, when? It's like, before class. She's like, oh, where was it? It's like, oh, I put it right here in, in this pocket of your bag. She's like, I've never, I don't think I've ever used uh, that, uh, that pocket in my life. And I was like, really? She goes, yeah. And I said, okay, well, I'm a little... I feel a little silly. Huh. Hold on. I don't want that one right there. Because huh. mobs are stupid and they can't jump. So only I would have access. Huh. Unless, you know, there's like a spider. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, that, that was how she and I became a couple. Uh, it was really wholesome. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've always been like a wholesome couple. Uh, and then, not last year, but the year before, uh, she and I got back into contact. I feel like five years. I was terrified of asking her out. Because uh, I was like, I don't know if she just likes me as a friend. Um, like, I overshared very, very soon uh, after she and I got back in contact for us. Like, hey, listen, I love you. Just immediately. Like, no. It was just immediately. I was like, I love you. And she was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Uh, pump the brakes a little bit. It has been five years. Let's let's take it back a step. Uh, and let's just, you know, for now, let's just go back to, you know, being friends like we originally were. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Um, and, you know, our, our feelings were still, you know, we still have feelings for each other. So we ended up, you know, dating again uh, later that year. Which was really cool. Um, but I, I... I was freaking out like the entire... The entire year. Because I was like, okay, I really, I really want to like... I, I, I really want to have her back. I really want to be there for her. Um, but I don't... I don't want to push it. I don't want to be like pushy about it. Um... And she ended up asking me out again. I was like, dang it, do I, do I just suck at this? <laughs> like, can I, can I, can I be the one to ask you out at, at, at any point? If, uh, because she and I have talked about getting married in the future. Not yet, but, you know, at some point in the future. If she ends up being the one to propose to me, I'm gonna feel so embarrassed. I don't have any issue with women proposing. It's just she has made the move every single time, and I'm like, I, I am just like pathetic. <laughs> I have done nothing, you know. So that's that's why I'm like, I've gotta ask her. I've gotta ask her, you know, because if she pulls a ring on me, I'm gonna be like, 
Okay, yes, but like... <sighs> I feel useless. Like I said, don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore her. I have no issue with, you know, a woman, a woman asking a guy, like a guy's hand in marriage. I, in fact, I think it's really sweet. I think it's really cute. I wouldn't feel, uh, what was sort of emasculated? Is that the word? Is that even a word? Did I just make something up? Uh, but like, I, I'm not gonna feel. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna feel weird or bad about that. I'm just gonna feel like I am just completely, you know, useless to her. Where it's like, dude, I'm I'm taking all these steps. Like I'm doing all this stuff. What are you doing? You know? And I don't want to be like, oh, but I'm scared. You know, I I wanna I wanna. For lack of a better word, I want to man up about it. I want to be able to, like, actually, you know. <laughs> I want to actually make a move for once in a relationship instead of just being like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I feel very timid around her, and I don't really need to. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED Talk or whatever. <laughs> That is the wrong type of wood. Whoops. Okay. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. I I just wanna I want it to be like a mutual thing, you know. I wanna be able to be able to bring something to the table. Uh and I feel like if I can't even do that, what what use, what good am I going to be to her, you know? Because, uh, I mean, this is somebody I genuinely want to spend the rest of my life with. I don't know. I just... I'm not afraid of commitment. I, in fact, uh, I was the one originally... Uh, who brought up the idea of getting married? Because I really want to. I really want to marry her. Um, I'm I'm a romantic. You will find that out. Trust me. It's, everybody finds out at some point. Young Sliver is absolutely a romantic of the hopeless variety. I'll have you know. Um, again, I am rambling right now, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, trying to find things to say, and I'm just oversharing about my relationship stuff. Uh, at least I'm not, you know, airing out dirty laundry about, you know, relationships. I'm not going to do that. I haven't really had any bad relationships, per se. I think this is tall enough. Let's see. Is that five or six right there? Okay, cool, 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 cool. That was what I wanted. Um some loud ass ladders. Okay. Well, I don't need the sticks. I need spruce wood. I have spruce wood. What am I doing? No idea. I think that would be good. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to make a ton of these anyway. Because I was gonna line it. I was gonna line the uh, the things like this. Uh, the the windows. That's what those are. I know words. Don't worry. No, I don't. And you know what? Even if I didn't, there. Problem solved. I don't remember where I first saw that design, but I was just like, the minute I saw it, I was like, hell yeah. Yes. Great. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, 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 no. By all means, by all means, fall. You know, I don't think I'm very good at this game. Just a, just a hunch, just a thought. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, Haha! -ha. Okay. Now what I don't need is to just fall off like an idiot. That's what we don't want. Also, I think I need one more ladder. Actually, no, I think I can... Yeah. Plus, I was gonna... What was I gonna do? That's not what I was gonna do. Whoops! Uh, no, 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 no. Give, give that back. I need... Yes. That is precisely what I needed. Is it just me, or do the deep slate, uh, deep slate sounds really chalky to me. I hear my Tamagotchi. I have a common Rider Tamagotchi that I got for Christmas, and I can hear it going off in the background. But that can wait. Okay. intrusive thoughts are telling me to jump off that but my hearts are telling me that that's a really bad idea and you know what i think i think the uh the hearts may be onto something there um yeah so this will be tower 1 I don't know how or where, but I'm going to uh, set up a little indicator that it is Tower 1. So that way I know what's Tower 1, or what tower... My brain does not work. Don't, don't mind me, I'm rambling like a fool. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I'm really tempted to just leap off the, uh, the top of this tower. It's not a good idea, and I shouldn't do it. And I'm not gonna let the intrusive thoughts win. Sorry, it's not happening. I'm sorry. I I just can't. I can't let that happen. I'm not that depressed. <laughs> oh God. Sorry. Just, just trying to pop my back, and it pops something in my sternum. Like I felt a pop in my sternum. It was weird. Um, 
I need more oak wood. I want to get just oak wood that's just hanging out by itself like this. Not connected to any other trees. Or if they are, it's just at the corners like this that I can separate. Oh, I forgot I lost my axe. Hold on. As if I'm 95 playing this game for the first time. This is comforting music. I'm gonna chop all these trees. I'm gonna do it. I have to. I have no idea. I'm, I'm winging it. I am actually, like, winging it with this tower. I don't even know if that looks good. I don't know if I should have stripped all the uh, logs. I feel like I should have stripped all the logs. I probably should have stripped all the logs. Oh, well. I'll do that with the next one. We'll see. Because <laughs> I don't think it looks... D get out of the way. I don't think it looks disgustingly awful. You could definitely tell that it's going to stand out amongst the other uh, structures, which is what I want. Uh, we, we definitely want that. Uh, I figured I'd go with something Aww. simplistic. If I kill Aww. you, are you going to go after I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Don't let the intrusive thoughts win. Uh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I'm just, I'm just mob proofing it at this point, because I was like, the last thing I need is for this to, uh, uh, the last thing I need is for this to just be an obstacle course with skeletons. That's the last thing I want. Hi, welcome to the obstacle course. Die. Oh, what's this? You're climbing a ladder? No. Get shot. Am I gonna have enough torches? Yeah, I should have just barely enough. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna have like three left, I think. Because I can't put one on that side. Because the ladder's in the way. But I need the ladder to get up, so I, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm actually kind of digging this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of digging it. Uh, so what I think we're gonna do is... What am I doing? Do I just... Mm. No. No. I'm just gonna put... Uh, 
just two massive windows just with an opening and then I'll put uh, you know some fence right there I think that'll look good yeah I don't know what I'm doing what you think I'm good at Minecraft possibly one of the easiest games when it comes to building no I'm playing with fire right now. Not literally. I'm playing a very dangerous game at the moment. I'm not being safe in Minecraft. go. Get that back. Aha! See, I'm a genius. I'm actually a genius right now. I keep saying that. I'm gonna, like, at some point, I'm just gonna, like, fall to my death right after saying that. If that happens, I hope you all clip it and then never, ever let me live it down. I just, I just think that, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Natural consequence. You think you're tough shit, and then, you know, you slip, and then you fall all the way down. It reminds me of a, a story. Uh, I had this uh, this book of like Japanese fables, uh, which is how I learned about the story of Momotaro, which is my favorite Japanese fable. Um, I love it so much that I even named an entire fish after it. Um, but anyway, we're not talking about Momotaro. We're talking about another story of which name I can't remember for the life of me. I don't know what the hell it was called. But it was about this dumbass little monkey screwing around, being an idiot, and then he just falls. He falls. Like, I've... That's, that's the beginning of the story, is he just <whistles> falls down uh, out of a tree. Uh, so he goes to this old lady, and he's like... Because he falls in some, like... Uh, branches some like uh thorns like a thorn bush i think and he runs up to this old lady he's like grandma help me i i done i done fell in some uh in some some brambles <laughs> i done fell into some brambles i don't know what the hell that is uh and the old lady's like okay yeah here i'll, I'll help you and she's like okay hold still and he's freaking out because she takes a razor. She's like, okay, I'm just going to cut this thing out. It's it's not going to – it's not even going to hurt a bit. And this idiot is freaking the hell out. Like, he's losing his mind. He's like, oh, my God, it's going to hurt so much. I'm freaking out. And he, he like – I think he, like, jerks or something. Um, and – it's like right as she's about to cut the uh, the thorn out of his tail, and since he jumps or like jerks around or something, uh, he moves the tail too fast, and she ends up accidentally cutting his tail. 
Uh, so now he's got like this really short tail because she just like hacked half of it off. And he was like, look what you did! The, look, the, look, look what you did! Uh, and she's like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. And he's like, he's like, don't tell me you're sorry. I don't believe you. Here, as restitution, give me your razor that you used to hack off my tail. And she's like, shoot, man, fine. So he goes around, he's like, I got this cute little razor. Uh, and he passes by another old lady. I think it was an old man. I don't know. He just meets a bunch of old people. He runs into like another old person. I think it was an old man. And the old man goes, "Hey, little monkey, can you can you help me out? I see you got yourself a sharp little thing, and I gotta cut this. I got I gotta cut these sticks." And he's like, "Yeah, you can use that." And he's like, "Oh, that's that's great." So the guy starts cutting away, and he hands it back afterwards, and he's like. Man, that didn't, that didn't cut really well after a while. And he goes, he goes, look what you did! You destroyed my my razor, because as I'm sure you can tell, razors are not made to cut wood. They're made to cut hair. Um, and he's like, oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't realize, you know, you just handed me a razor. Uh, or so, I don't know. Uh, and he's like, well, he pulls the same thing as last time, where he's like, as restitution, uh, give me, give me your sticks, give me a bundle of sticks, and he's like, shit, man, okay, here, take your sticks, little ass, uh, I wish he said that, you know, one, the monkey was a little ass, uh, so he's like, hell yeah, I'm a, I, I think the entire time, whenever he, like, gets given something. He's like, hell yeah, I'm a smart monkey. Um, so he he gives him, like, the bundle of sticks. And then uh, afterwards, he stumbles across this old lady. Uh, and he's like, oh, hi, Grandma. What you doing? And she's like, oh, I, I just wanted to bake these cookies, but my oven is all out of wood. He's like, well, here you can you can borrow my wood, and he hands her the the bundle of wood that he got. And this monkey, as I'm sure you can tell by this point, is an absolute dumbass. Uh, because things break and he's stupid. Uh, <laughs> he's an idiot because he's stupid. Anyway, um. So she's like, oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you. So she, she uses the, the wood to, you know, fuel her furnace and bake the, the cookies. And as I'm sure you can probably tell, when you use fire for things, or when you burn wood for things, that wood doesn't stay. Uh, as you can probably tell from this game, wood does not stay when you burn it. So all, all the wood's burned up and everything. She's like, She's like, oh, thank you so much. He's like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> what happened to my wood? She's like, you gave it to me to fuel my oven. And he was like, but it's all gone. It's all burned. She's like, yeah, that's how that works. Well, what am I supposed to do now? She's like, well, I mean, you did do something really nice. You made me all these cookies. And he goes, well, it's restitution. Give me some of those cookies. She's like, well, sh oh my god, fine, here. She gives him a, a little a little dish of cookies. And he's like, hell yeah, I'm a smart monkey. He stumbles across, uh, you know, this old man. Just another old man. Uh, he's got this gong. And he goes up to the guy and he's like, dude, that is the coolest thing. He's like, oh, do you like it? He's like, yes. Give me the gong. <laughs> Give it to me. He's a little brat. <laughs> Give Give me the gong, sir. And he was like, "Well, I can't just give it to you." He's like, "You know, why don't we Why don't we do a trade?" He goes, "All right, all right, here. 
here, I've got these these cookies, these nice warm cookies. And he's like, oh, hell yeah. I'll trade you cookies for that, for this gong. So he gives him the rest of his cookies. And the, the old man gives him a gong. So he, he takes it back up to like his little tree from the beginning. And he's making up this song about how he's like the smartest little monkey. And he's banging on his stupid gong. And I think at the end he falls off the tree again to another to another thorn bush. Uh, I just I don't know. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun story. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really all I have for this episode. I told a story about a really stupid monkey who thinks himself to be the wisest creature of them all, and yet he is a twit. Uh, by far my favorite story, uh, aside from Momotaro, because you can't you can't beat you can't beat Peach Boy. Um. I don't know what I was going to use the rest of that uh, wheat for, so now I've got bread. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so anyway, got a new food source. We built we built ourselves a little uh, little fire watch tower. That is short as hell. What on earth? Eh, it looks fine to me. Uh... If you think there's more we can do about it, you should definitely tell me in the comments. I like it when you guys comment. You should comment more. It doesn't happen very often. But I like it when you comment. So please comment. Um, let me know if I should strip the, the, lo the, 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 the loke ogs. The oak logs. I don't know English. Uh, anyways... I'm gonna go inside. And while I do that, uh, here's an end slate. <laughs> Welcome back to end slate, where I don't, I don't think I'm gonna keep doing end slates for this series just because it's extra work. Um, so unless something comes up, then I'll bring up an end slate. But for for the daily series. I'm not gonna do end slates. Uh, so this this will be the last end slate that I do for the Minecraft series. Just cause I don't uh I don't see a point to just doing daily end slates. I don't have enough going on to be meriting that. Um but yeah. I mean I'm on a, I'm I'm at a loss of words right now. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for, um, like, uh, games for anything, really, um, uh, if you have any ideas, uh, for the series, I am all ears. Um, if you think I should add to the Firewatch Tower, maybe put something more on top, uh, or add more like structural stuff, let me know, because I'm not typically a builder. Yeah. That's really all I've got for today. Um, see you later. Uh, this last daily end slate I do. Uh, and then I'm just gonna probably just do them on uh, other videos. Um, like the recommending videos. I'll probably just uh, recommend different series because that's what I'm trying to like do. Anyway, that's, that's all for today. Bye guys. See, see you later. Love you. Bye.